Welcome to the topic on automating the sales process. In this topic, we discuss ways to automate the sales process, especially in how we interact with warehouse management. We see how automatic availability checking works in the sales process. We will also look at the functions provided by the pick pack and production manager and how they are integrated into the sales process. We discuss the advantage of using the document generation wizard. The company sets customer satisfaction as top priority. Therefore, they have chosen to automate steps in the sales process. Automatic availability checks are performed in the sales order to ensure that sufficient quantities are available to fulfill customer orders in a timely manner. If a product is unavailable in the local warehouse, you use the options available to ship that item or another acceptable item as quickly as possible. For high-priority sales orders they may reschedule deliveries. The company uses the pick pack and production manager to automate the process of picking and delivering items in a timely manner. Invoicing is automated using the document generation wizard. We will look at five places in the sales process where sales automation adds efficiency, availability checking, picking using pick lists, packing, generating delivery documents, and AR invoices using the document generation wizard. Let's look at an example of how automation can make the sales process more efficient. An automatic availability check occurs when you enter items and quantities in a sales order. When the items are confirmed as available, the quantity is committed in inventory. Warehouse personnel access and filter open sales orders in the pick pack and production manager to create pick lists for sales orders due for delivery. Pickers pick the items from warehouse shelves and enter the picked quantities into the system. Pickers create packages for the items with packing lists and delivery documents generated via the pick pack and production manager. The delivery posts the reduction in inventory and reduces the committed quantity from the sales order. After the items are shipped, AR invoices are generated in batched billing runs via the document generation wizard. An item availability check will determine if the item is available with a sufficient quantity for your sales order in the particular warehouse associated with your sales order row on the customer's required delivery date. How is availability calculated? The basic definition is this, available quantity is calculated as the in-stock quantity minus the committed quantity plus the ordered quantity. The system tracks the quantities for each item and displays the quantities for each warehouse in the item master. The inventory data tab of the item master record shows us up-to-date information on stock levels and demand for the item for each warehouse. This information is updated dynamically so it shows a true picture at any time. You can view the quantity in stock. The committed quantity, which represents a reserved quantity such as the quantity ordered by customers, needed for components on a production order or the quantity set aside for transfer to another warehouse. The ordered quantity, which represents either quantity ordered for purchase by your company, but not yet delivered, or the quantity on production orders for an item produced in-house, or a quantity requested from another warehouse. Finally, it shows the available quantity, which is the quantity available for your sales orders. Two options exist for availability checking. You can choose only one option either the standard availability check for SAP Business One or an advanced availability to promise check. The standard availability check automatically checks row quantities for sales documents. If there are insufficient quantities, this check gives you a pop-up box with options to switch warehouses, choose alternative items, change requested quantities, or view a report showing multiple warehouses. The standard availability check is available on both SAP HANA and MS SQL databases. The second option, the advanced availability to promise, provides additional functionality to create confirmed schedule lines with delivery dates for items checked and the ability to view schedule details for those items. If needed, you can reschedule deliveries for multiple documents. This option is only available if you are running on an SAP HANA database. Let's look at how availability checking works with a business example. A very important customer orders seven scanners, but unfortunately only five are currently available in the main warehouse. As the salesperson enters the item, a pop-up box appears showing the full quantity cannot be confirmed. The salesperson has choices about what actions he can to fulfill the customer requirements. We will look at what actions are available for each availability check. Let's look at the first option, the standard SAP Business One availability check. Whenever you create a sales order and enter a quantity for an item which is greater than the available quantity for this item minus the minimum inventory level on the delivery date, the item availability check window comes up automatically. 
The salesperson has entered the scanner item with a quantity of 7, but only 5 are available. The item availability check window pops up. It displays the quantity of 7 ordered in the sales order and quantity available in inventory. Several actions are offered in this window. The first option is to continue. This allows you to accept the information and proceed without changing the sales order. In that case the item will be backordered. The second option is to change the quantity in the sales order line item to match the available quantity. This reduces the order quantity to the available quantity. If you need more information before deciding on a resolution, you can choose the option to display the available to promise report. This provides you with an at-a-glance report on stock inflow and outflow including projections. This report is also available directly from the context menu. You could also check quantities in other warehouses. From this report, you can check and possibly select the quantities from another warehouse. Sometimes an item has been set up with alternate items. When you choose this option, you can check for any alternates, and if one is available, you can select the quantities from an alternative item. If the item is not available and no other options remain for on-time delivery, a customer may decide to not order that item. One of the actions available is to delete the item's row from the sales order. Sometimes, you may see an additional option, change to earliest availability. This option only appears when the availability date can be calculated. It copies the earliest availability date to the row's delivery date. The available to promise report is available from the availability check however, even when you have sufficient quantity in an order, you can check the availability to promise for an item. In the context menu for a row, choose the option available to promise option. This opens a window with the inventory status report for the item in the row. You can see any documents which affect the inflow or outflow of this item from the warehouse listed on the row. You use a drop-down to view an alternate warehouse. For each document on the list, you can see the customer or vendor, order date, delivery date, the ordered or committed quantity. The documents are listed in delivery date order and the projected availability for the item on that date is shown. You can drill down into each document on the list. To activate this option, go to the Per Document tab of the Document Settings window and choose Sales Order. Check the Activate Automatic Availability checkbox. If you are running the SAP HANA database for your transactional database, you may wish to use the second option for additional functionality. The SAP Business One version for SAP HANA has a configuration option to turn on the advanced availability to promise. As mentioned before, this option supports delivery schedule details for different types of documents that create demand and have a potential outflow. The advanced ATP confirms quantity for the delivery dates and reserves the information on availability. The ATP check is performed for demand documents such as sales orders and AR reserve invoices with positive quantities, inventory transfer request, purchase orders and AP reserve invoices with negative quantities, and production orders. Checking rules can be configured differently for items or item groups. When you create a document with demand, such as a sales order, the advanced ATP check verifies there is enough quantity to deliver on the required date. The check takes the item, warehouse, required quantity and required date from the document to calculate the base quantity. Availability is the sum of in-stock quantities plus planned receipts minus existing required or confirmed quantities. The check also takes into account temporarily assigned quantities currently being held by another user during their ATP check. The output is the ATP check result. If the check determines there is insufficient quantity, the delivery schedule details window opens with recommendations for quantity and delivery dates. In our example, the customer ordered seven scanners however only five can be delivered on time. If there is not enough available quantity on the dates needed, you can choose a delivery strategy. Delivery strategies control whether an item is allowed multiple deliveries. There are three delivery strategies. Delivery proposal splits the delivery to match your available quantity. With this option five scanners would be delivered to the customer on the first available date and the remaining two would be delivered at a later date. One-time delivery only delivers the items that can be sent on time. With this option only five scanners would be delivered. A customer who needs the scanners right away for a specific event might choose this option. Complete delivery postpones the delivery so the entire quantity is delivered in full. This option might be chosen by a customer who wants to install all seven scanners at once. They might be willing to wait to ensure the full quantity arrives on the same date. 
you can reopen the delivery schedule details window from the context menu of a document item row. In addition to the check availability from inside documents, you can also open a graphical view of availability from an icon in the toolbar. Click the available to promise check icon on the toolbar to open the view the availability for a particular item across warehouses. Enter the item and the quantity required. Choose which warehouse's inventory you wish to view. In our business example, we want to see when seven scanners will be available for our customer. A graphical view displays an item's availability. Red indicates the full quantity cannot be delivered on those dates. Blue indicates when the full quantity is available in the timeline. Here we see that only five are available until June 6. You can scroll right and left on a timeline to see when the item is available. You also have the option to switch warehouses and view availability of alternative items. To turn on the advanced availability check, go to Document Settings, General tab. Choose the checkbox to enable advanced available to promise. Then choose the button to set up ATP checking rules. This opens the ATP checking rule list. The default rule is AA. Additional checking rules can be created. Give it a name and then define rule details. Checking rules can be assigned to item groups or specific items. The rules allow you to say whether to include past planned receipts, whether to do an automatic check, and whether to display schedule line details and allow delivery for unconfirmed or delayed quantities. You can also choose whether to allow multiple deliveries or not. The assigned checking rule appears on the planning data tab for an item. Delivery schedule management is a tool for rescheduling deliveries. You can open this tool from an icon on the toolbar or from the sales AR menu. In our business example, a very important customer absolutely needs the seven scanners on time and will not take a substitute. Only authorized users can reschedule deliveries. In our business example, the sales manager and the warehouse manager are the only employees with access. After talking with the sales manager, the warehouse manager opens the delivery schedule management tool to view all open orders for the item. He checks to see if he can reschedule the committed quantity from a lower priority sales order to fulfill the important customer's urgent order. He has opened the delivery schedule management window from inside the saved order by right-clicking on the row with the unconfirmed quantity. He can see all the open sales order rows for this item. The other way to open the window is to use the delivery schedule management icon on the toolbar then select the item. Once the window is open, he can expand each sales order by clicking on the row to view the quantities to be delivered and the delivery dates. Here we see the customer sales order is currently delayed by four days. To make inventory available, choose the sales order you wish to reduce, click on the blue bar. The bar turns gold and a slider button appears. Drag to the left to reduce the quantity. Here we see the user reducing the quantity of the sales order by two. The quantity moves from one sales order to the other. You can see the full quantity is now available to be delivered on the first sales order. The lower priority second sales order is now delayed by three days. Now we take a high level look at the pick pack and production manager and how it can improve picking, packing and delivery. The pick pack and production manager topics for sales, inventory transfers and production are covered in detail in other course sessions. Pick Pack and Production Manager allows you to view multiple sales order rows and group them into pick lists for maximum efficiency. After picking, packing for deliveries can be done centrally. Then delivery documents can be generated for all the picked and packed items. In this way, you can more efficiently manage the logistics of picking and shipping sales orders. This course topic introduces you to the concepts behind the Pick Pack and Production Manager. For more details on this subject, see the three course topics that focus solely on pick and pack. In our business example, the warehouse manager opens the pick pack and production manager. He sets the selection criteria to pull up all the upcoming deliveries for the week. The pick pack and production manager displays three drawers, open for items that are not yet on a pick list, released for items that have been released to a pick list and picked for all the items already picked. In the open drawer, he sees the sales orders rows and the rows of many other sales orders. He chooses the items to release to the pick list and prints our pick lists for all the pickers in the warehouse. When items are released to a pick list, the pick list generation wizard opens. The wizard gives you options for how to split your pick lists for optimal picking. You can split pick lists by business partner, document type, individual document, item group, item, or warehouse. 
In this warehouse, items are mostly organized by item groups, so the warehouse manager chooses item groups for organizing the pick lists. The pickers use a printout of the pick list to find all the items. They prepare the shipments in the packing area. They update the pick list with information on what was picked. Then they generate deliveries from the pick list. When each delivery is posted the committed quantity is reduced for the sales order when the stock quantity is issued for the delivery. The deliveries are loaded on trucks to ship them to the customers. A company will typically generate a number of invoices at one time in a batch. The document generation wizard is a tool to run a batch of documents at one time. The wizard follows a simple process used for gathering rows from base documents to target documents, based on several user-defined parameters. Examples of the parameters that exist are target document type, posting date, document date, items or service, and many more. This wizard can be used for example, to produce a summarized AR invoice for a customer, containing all delivery notes that were created for the customer over the past week. It is a simple yet effective method of summarizing data to reduce data input. All deliveries for an individual customer can be consolidated into one invoice or set to create separate invoices. At the end of the day, the document generation wizard generates consolidated invoices for the recent customer deliveries. In our case the billing department created a parameter set for creating invoices that they use each week to do the batch job of creating invoices. The document run creates invoices with summary rows by delivery note. They have specified what criteria they use regularly to consolidate invoices and how to handle issues automatically as they arise. Here are some key points. An automatic availability check is done for sales orders as long as you have selected the configuration option. Available quantity is equal to the in-stock quantity plus the order quantity minus the committed quantity. An availability check window appears when the sales order row quantity of an item exceeds available quantity minus the minimum inventory level on the delivery date. You also have the ability to do a manual availability check as needed. Two options exist for availability checking, the standard availability check or the advanced availability to promise. Advanced ATP is only availability when you run SAP Business One on the SAP HANA database. The standard check gives you options to change item quantity, change delivery dates, view an ATP report, check other warehouses, choose alternate items, delete the item row or ignore the message. Advanced ATP gives additional functionality. Advanced ATP confirms quantities, creates delivery schedule detail lines, and allows delivery rescheduling for demand documents. Committed quantity is increased by sales orders and reduced when the item is delivered. Delivery also reduces in-stock quantity. Pick Pack and Production Manager coordinates picking and packing activities and can automate delivery creations. The Document Generation Wizard performs batch processing of sales documents. For example, it can automate invoice processing.